Okay, and welcome to the Neoclassical Fireplace, part three. Okay, we're going to now run the sweep one rail command. Okay, we have a few things to do. What we've done is we've created a cross section curve right here. But the next thing we need to do is create a rail. All right, now what I haven't done yet is this I have not actually created a plan. All right, so here you can see here's our plan. All right. And that plan shows us basically here, there's the relationship between the, uh, um, the vertical elements of this fireplace, also the cross section curve. And the other thing, uh, it also shows the top, all right? So I think what I'm gonna do is real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead, make a purple layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and very, very quickly make a rectangle and grab this thing here and snap it there it's alright if we're off a little bit okay and now what I'm gonna do is uh, same thing I'm gonna do another rectangle which appears to be here and I'm gonna go ahead and allow myself to overlap a little bit because that's not a problem if it goes into what it is that we're creating and now I'm going to um, do another polyline and I'm going to um, turn my snaps back on I want my near to be on I'm gonna create just a little bit of a line there oops I'm gonna get rid of my end snap for just a second create that right there hold down shift bring it up the space bar hold down shift bring it up and now do a um, control point curve and very very quickly it looks like this is maybe a soft edge based on the plan and that's fine and snap there hit enter and I'm going to take this one here all of that and join it and now I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to mirror it so it's over here. I want to make sure that my midpoint snap is on. Midpoint. Hold down shift. And I've run the mirror command here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy here. And I'm going to go into my perspective and I'm going to um, rotate it actually I'm just going to grab my um, gumball and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees alright and now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, I'm going to select everything here in purple and this is a fine opportunity to group it okay I'm now going to turn on my other layer so I can figure out where things need to be. All right. Looks like there's my cross section curve. This needs to move over here, right? So if we look right there, it looks like we've got uh, showing us where the uh, elevation is in terms of the, the width of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my red layer for a second okay and now I'm gonna go to my front view and in my front view I'm just gonna put a point right here I'm gonna take that point and using the gumball I'm gonna extrude it up so just so I have a marker of some sort so I know where things are gonna go to right and now I'm going to figure out where in the right view this is okay and I'm gonna have to put a point on this purple curve basically at zero so I know where to snap this to okay so one way to do that there's a lot of different ways to do that but one way to do it is we can just go to our front view right and we could start a line from midpoint at zero enter hold down shift click there we go and now in perspective where this intersects I can just drop a point make sure my intersect is on click okay and now I can take this guy which is now a group 
I can move it and it'll say point to move from here I can just snap to that point and now I'm going to rotate it and I'm not going to use the gumball here rotate it from here to here hold down shift and it'll snap and there we go okay so now I've got my plan in place okay now it's starting to look a little bit like a fireplace okay I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next one we're gonna start setting things up to uh, do the sweep one rail on this mantle okay thanks